Abhijit Jogo, um, the Vice Chair for the Department of Critical Care. Early on in the pandemic, we saw Black and Hispanic people have had a higher risk of COVID-19 infection. Also, after acquiring the infection, both these groups have been at a higher risk of needing hospitalization and needing intensive care. The question really arose, is that because of COVID itself? Or is that really driven by the underlying disparities amongst these populations? Or because of the stressors that a lot of hospital systems saw? What we found was that um, even though Blacks and Latinos have a disproportionately higher rate of chronic kidney disease, a higher rate of asthma, a higher rate of hypertension and cardiac disease, this did not translate into worse outcomes after they were admitted with COVID into a Cleveland Clinic ICU. We were able to provide standardized care to all comers to our ICUs. Cleveland Clinic is a unique healthcare system where we are integrated across a vast region. If any area is getting unduly stressed in terms of high patient volumes, we were able to offset those burdens by moving patients across all different Cleveland Clinic hospital systems. The other thing that we did was that as soon as the pandemic started, we got a number of our physicians together with other healthcare providers and we standardized how we will take care of our COVID patients. We were able to provide standardized care to these really sick people across different ICUs in a very consistent manner. It's a lesson to be learned in terms of saying that if we can do it in the midst of a pandemic, we can do a better job in terms of ensuring equitable healthcare across different races and ethnicities.